cloud of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon of Felamon. Vlacketh's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Vlacketh. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. Tiamat's emissary. It was he who carried word that Mother Gith had negotiated the gift of the dragons, and that Vlacketh the First would preside as queen of the Githyanki. The Thalamon remains the queen's consort to this day, as endless as the empire he now serves. It is not just improbable, it is impossible. Kithrak Vos and his red dragon slayed the fell prince. You could no more resurrect him than you could glue together the pile of ashes he became. My Vash taught that the silver bells of Vlacketh's court still ring out before every hunt in celebration of the prince's defeat. As a child, I longed to hear them for myself and sing in praises to the deathless queen and her Kithraki. Anything more? Such a strange disc. Are these get Yankee markings? Lazel might know. yet, Will. I, for one, think you look smashing. You know, I think I am. It certainly didn't put off my, uh, dance partner. Ah, dance. The true language of love. <laughs> 